Hello everyone, you would be hard pressed to find any title more vanilla and by the book than strike the blood. It throws so many tropes that other has done before and since. To its credit, there's decent amount of content and production here, even if it's the usual harem and fantasy antics. It delivers a lot of things and barely anything at the same time. It's ultimately just average. One thing that surprised me the most is how much world building the series has. From the lore of the city, various factions, vampire bloodline, even to terrorist groups. And those are just the two first story acts. It might seem complex with everyone dropping exposition, but this is just fluff. Every aspect is derived from typical fantasy or sci-fi, which other series have done better. Now, I don't think it's bad to, let's say, inspired by other works. Honestly, everyone does it to a certain degree. Strike the Blood just doesn't add anything new or significant. And we know in the end of the day, it's gonna rely on the girls, the fan service, which are also not novel. This is the story of Hojo, the chosen one, the fourth whatever, and his harem. It's so painstakingly mundane and predictable, if you have seen any action fantasy harem, you probably know when the next blast and cutesy noise would come. It is a special privilege that only selected few can achieve. I have seen so many similar titles, and only one or two has this rigid template. It could have solved this with ease, just make Kojo decisive. I don't know why FAMC is like this, just be more assertive. Simply saying he likes this one girl or the side on anything, whatever it is, would make the series more palatable. It would imply the character choose something, not just being dragged through the story. Almost everything that happens here is a reaction. He becomes a vampire, he fights because he needs to protect people. We heard about this so many times before. There are other titles where the MC has certain goal acts upon it, and by doing so, takes on responsibility. Sadly, we don't see this on Strike the Blood, at least not in Season 1. It does have a lot of mythology. I cannot say the series doesn't establish the world, because every episode has something new to discover. Whether it's the city, the secret organization, or a mythical creature, I just wish it would be more refined in the delivery. Not just a person doing 5 or 10 minutes exposition. It even does this for character introduction, where one person would tell a refreshing story about their friend or certain people, only to have that same guy or girl pop up minutes later. Honestly, sometimes I just check out because most of it is so shallow. And other things behind the scene might or might not be relevant. Usually, it's not. So when the series need to push a certain narrative or simple scene, it just use coincidence, like information that exact person suddenly shows up. This one time, the childhood friend who has just happened to be a hacker, and the terrorist group targeting her would tie into the main story. And in the meantime, the same friend who the main girl was looking for actually worked for another party that's also involved. It's so convoluted just to set up this harem, all falling for the MC because he is nice and understanding, which is only common courtesy and basic human sympathy. To spice things up, we see analogy of vampire lasting for blood to lasting for girls. Fair enough. It's not as bad as wanting breast milk or energy, so I can definitely say I've seen worse. The usual antics for slice of life or comedy is not too bad. Several times it did good job on setting the fight. It used good soundtracks and decent vista, although there are too many girls involved. And I'm only talking about early story arcs. If it slows down and just focus on one girl or story, it would have been much more effective. Still, when all else fails, fortunately, the action is capable enough to maintain decent overall presentation. Again, it's nothing that special, but from camera angle and action choreography, almost every episode have good fights. 
it ranges from a few blows to maybe several minutes, but they are all sophisticated enough to get your adrenaline going. Most episode structure consists of an inspiring dialogue until the next crazy beats come around to break the monotony. Strike the blood try to do way too many things. With a little tweak or edit, maybe remove certain part or do it at a later episode, this could have been good above average at least. However, the overall load of narrative information and ladies fighting for screen time actually turned the series into basic harem fantasy. And that's it, thank you for watching. Please drop a like and comment below. Consider subscribing and share with your friends. I make three videos every week. Have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one.